every race just like that. Every race like that. Run should enjoy the song. Um, here's a base. The fast times will come without really, without getting hurt. Ten. Okay, to the right. Let's go to the right. Count of ten. One, two, three, four, five. System, system that push you too much and this puts you out. I, I believe you have to develop and you have to enjoy. It. I really believe that. Putting in the base work and put in years, years of base work. Yeah, I believe we're gonna have some breakthroughs. <laughs> Keep sacrificing, you know, proper attitude toward the training and uh, self motivation. We have to keep sacrificing ourselves toward a long range goal, which is, which is state. As a nose one of Okay, don't be. Uh, the guy said that we need to take breaks. Yeah, also, also said to easy. Easy days we go easy. Hard days we go hard. consisted of a lot of intervals combined with um, long runs, consisted of um, running anywhere between 80 to 110 miles a week. With that system, my time, my three mile time went from 18 minutes to about 14, 12 in two years. As a senior in high school, I ran a 9, 12 for two miles and I was all state, I was six in state. At uh, college, I was a three-time All-American in cross country for, for UIC in a two-hour and 21-minute uh, marathon, Chicago Marathon, which is about, I think I was about 23rd place. I tell myself I can't get better. If I quit, I won't get better, so that's one of the reasons why I don't quit. Yes, I practice. I do two days, Monday to Friday, and I run once a day, Saturday and Sunday. Hello, my name is George Rodriguez and I'm a sophomore. The school I'm currently attending is Curie High School. Uh, I run because that's my favorite sport and I'm a natural runner, I guess you could say. It's my favorite sport because it's the one that I competed
and best. I think Mr. Ray is a strong coach, very dedicated, and he motivates us to do the best we can in running. So my name is Natalia Morales. Um, I'm 16. I go to Curie High School, and I'm a junior. I think to myself that there's only so much to go, and that I'll be done soon, and then I keep on going. Uh, I'm Will Thompson, Boys Cross Country Coach at Curie High School. How long have you been coaching? I've been coaching cross country. This is my fifth season. I coach track 12. This is my 12th season going to track. So what motivated you to well, coach? Well, what happened was I was I was a track coach, and then during the fall I was doing uh, I was refereeing football, and so uh, it was a time conflict. I was at school late, so I decided we didn't have a, a cross country coach. I decided why not uh, I become the cross country coach. We always go to the uh, the region on the sectional. This should help take the team downstate. How do you think um, you're you're going to be able to do that? Like, uh, we're just going to keep working hard, putting our miles in. Uh, just keep working hard. Running, it's the people think it's an easy sport, but in reality, it's kind of a hard sport, and it will make me stronger in life, and it will help me overcome barriers that I never thought I could like surpass. But with running, it helps me push myself, and I know that I can make it far without any complications. First, I always picture somebody screaming at me because I don't, for some reason screaming just like makes me want to run faster. Or I think of like inspiring movies, like one of the movies is Secretariat. It like pushes me and I feel like, oh, if somebody else can do it, I know I can do it. Pace is important while you're running because well, since this is cross country, it's long distance. And for example, if you start off really, really fast, then you're not going to have the metabolism to keep up at that pace for let's say six miles, you can't, it's physically impossible. If you keep up a, per not perfect, but like an average pace, you can make it anywhere. First of all, a sport is something that is physically demanding. And I say running is very demanding. Uh, one of the important things about running is discipline. Discipline is uh, runners need to come out on a consistent basis, uh, day in, day out. Without the, without the hard training, without the base, that last, that last part of the race is not going to happen. Another thing that's very, very important is the attitude. You got to take that attitude that every day, you know what, I'm building, I'm building. So when the season comes around, you know what, the team is going to, to succeed. And if I don't have the attitude that um, I'm going to succeed during the season, you know what, the team is not going to succeed. The runner is always, always has that positive attitude and sign that, you know what, I know I'm tired today, maybe I'm sore, but I'm going to get out there. you got 300 runners on the line, and there's going to be elbows, there's going to be pushing, and there's going to be a lot of other things going on, and it's going on for three miles. Therefore, that to get out there somewhere where you're near the front, in the middle of the front, and then fight to stay there in cross-country position only changes about 30% of the time during the race. So if you're out, you're out in the top five, 10%, you're gonna end up there. How do you feel after a run? I feel very tired, but I feel very accomplished. I feel like, wow, you know, a lot of people don't do this, and I do. Slack.